Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My State Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another amazing vanilla ship. Now this one's been designed by A1 Otero, and he's called it the Minstrel. He's also classified it as a light cruiser. And I have to say, we've looked at quite a few of his ships in the past that have been heavily using mods, and I've always wondered what one of his ships would actually look like if he didn't use any mods at all, and he's not disappointed. It's a really beautiful design, he's used a lot of ribbon, and he's used a lot of blocks that are semi-constructed as well to pull off a really smooth looking ship. So let's begin at the exterior tour. Now we're going to start at the front and we're going to work our way to the back. And the first thing I want to talk about is his use of semi-constructed blocks. Now he's used these all over the ship's interior and exterior and it just creates a new block. It's just something a bit eye-catching and it changes the shape as well. So it's a really great idea if you want to build something like this. So you can see he's got a nice antenna constructed using that semi-constructed block. And he's also built himself two more pylons using semi-constructed blocks. And this is the theme that follows throughout the ship using these semi-constructed blocks to actually make a really nice effect. Now something else cool here at the front of the ship is you can see we've got windows and this is quite a smart idea. What he's actually done is used a half block here to protect the lower quadrant of the windows because we know windows are really a big weak spot of a ship and you see by doing that he's added that little bit of extra armour. So let's continue working our way down the side. So you can see we've got two Gatling turrets here and a rocket launcher and then this leads into a cargo base or module as well as the lower airlock and you see he's extended the actual armor out here he's used some half constructed blocks once again and he's painted the cargo containers red within the inside he's also put two ore detectors on the top so you could when you're passing by a local asteroid or maybe even a planet in the future you can actually sense what sort of resources is going to be there now coming to this segment we've actually got four rocket launchers in the area next to both of the engine base cells and just look at this detailing he's put here in the connection area now this is normally taken for granted but this really makes it feel like it's reinforced to hold the weight of the engine base cell now he's continued this detail in the thruster bay as well you can see this engine base cell here we've got a lot of detail going on from a distance these blast door blocks almost make it look like it's a ventilation in the middle but in functionality purposes they protect a lot of the engine and you can see from the left and right we're protected by the outer housing and this also also helps us protect some of them shots that would go and damage them thrusters within their engine. Now this design continues on the outside where we're using a lot of hydrogen sort of thrusters and I'm guessing because they have a higher output that's why he's actually used them here. We've also got that connector center in the middle and we're using these little flaps here to add a little bit of protection to the thrusters from different directions. Now we're at the back of the engine base cell you've got two massive hydrogen thrusters blowing out a lot of hydrogen fumes right out the back of the ship and you can just imagine how much power they're going to be putting out. Now we're at the the rear engine base cell and you can see we've got double the side cells as well here so we've got four at the back and we've also got another two hydrogen thrusters on the top now an important thing about using the hydrogen thrusters is they're going to require a lot of hydrogen tanks but he's not forgot about that plumbed in here is the hydrogen system if i can find it there we go this one's actually damaged at the moment i think i might have had a little bit of collision when i was testing it but you can also see we've got some ventilation system here at the back as well using the blocks and he's also changed the color of it just to make it a little bit more detailed just a really nice exterior so now we're going to begin the interior tour. We're going to enter through the side airlock and it works on a really simple system. You hit a button, closes one door, opens another and that's what you want a really simple and fast to use system for a survival situation now down to the right leads all the way to the rear hangar as well as the bridge and to the left we have the front hangar as well as the front area of the ship that holds a battery storage unit but let's actually take a look at this hangar itself now it's quite a compact hangar in area you can see we've got the airlock below we press that button seals the door behind us just in case we forgot and it opens the airlock below the ship is quite simple in nature we've got some more semi-constructed blocks it's used some wheel sort of blocks in areas here to make it look like it's got some pistons or hydraulics and at the back instead of a large variety of thrusters like we had on the other ship we've actually got some cargo containers that wrap into the inside and over here we have another catwalk so you can access both sides of this ship now it's not a really large hangar and it doesn't have any repairing features but since it's got a connector in here at a pinch you could use this area to repair and maintain this sort of ship you can get underneath it and around it to do that basic sort of maintenance tasks so let's actually head back out of here and we'll head to the front of the ship we'll take a right head through this side sort of catwalk area and if i just turn my lights off in this area you can just see actually how dark it is in here and this is probably a pretty good use of power and it's not wasting too many lights. it's probably pretty scary to raid this place in the dark as well but you can see we've got the ship 
in there but let's turn the light back on so we can see where we're going and we'll take a left to the front of the ship now the red area up there is battery storage and below us we have cargo and he's color coded everything quite quite interestingly actually we've got some cargo containers red some yellow and they're all connected to different areas of the ships and you'll see that as we go through the design itself so you can see the refinery is connected to the yellow so he's just kind of piped it up in a color coordinated sort of way we've got the battery cells red that are then in turn connected to further red parts but i'll explain that a little bit further as we go now as we head upstairs we actually have the cryo bay room just look at the amount of cryo bays in here we've got enough for a whole sort of assault team we also have a med bay on this upper deck and just look at this this is just a half constructed glass box but in using it in that way he's actually made it into a really nice sort of staircase area so we'll head up into here we've got a crew quarters i'm guessing these are supposed to be bunk beds but you could always repurpose this area in survival and there's the med bay itself as well as a cargo container now that's perfect for grabbing a weapon out you spawn in and i see this missed quite a lot no cargo container in the med bay room but with that there you can just grab your weapon out and you can get back into the fight straight away as well as a cargo container there in case you forget the first one looking down you can see the hangar below absolutely beautiful and if we take a left here we'll drop that back down to the lower deck and we can actually head back through the airlock room and the cargo containers into the gyroscope we've got that deck above us still Nothing too exciting up there, there's just a lot of oxygen tanks and we've got reactors here and here as well. It's just a really simple sort of survival build and it's functional, it's not really containing too many unnecessary areas. The only unnecessary area that I've actually seen on the ship at the moment is that um, crew quarters with the fake sort of bunk beds. But as we head forward, or well to the rear of the ship, we've actually got another sort of fighter. Now this fighter at the back just has some larger thrusters so it's going to be a little bit faster off the go as well as having a single cockpit. So it's a really nice sort of design got a little camera on the left so i'm guessing this can be remote control as well we'll head back into the ship we also have hangar controls here for the doors so we can close that door and also seal the hangar in reverse order as well really cool but let's head up to the bridge so the bridge is actually accessed by flying up here we take a left not right that leads us back up to the other deck and we have these a little bit of a cell bays on the side these cells i'm guessing are for sort of weapons control fire control and so on we've got a little bit of battery power as well as the jump drives as well as a little programming computer so you can run your scripts and codes and now we've got lower access into the hangar bay i haven't temporarily got lost there for a second as we head upstairs into this area more battery storage and a little bit of a flight up then leads us into the airlock this area is the bridge this area is the back of the ship. We'll have a look in there in a second. Well, I'll show you the bridge itself. This bridge is absolutely beautiful. We've got the three cockpits. We've got a divide with the actual sensor staircase. And these areas here pop down to a lower cockpit as well. We'll just we'll hop into here for a second. We'll give it a little bit of a look around. You can see the powering up and the speed that we've got. We've not got too much agility, but this is a large ship. What do you expect? But at the same time, it turns very well. Here, then thrusters powering through. Oh, it's just such a beautiful ship. Anyway, let's hop out that cockpit quickly. Let's slow it down to suitable speed. Okay, you can see the speed has gone over 104 since the world settings are a little bit different. Slow that down very nicely without causing too many issues. Oh, I wish we had some hydrogen thrusters, to be honest, on the front. So we'd actually slow down a little bit faster. All right, and there we go. We're out the cockpit and we'll walk to the back. So if we pop this final door open, we've got a red door leading into the airlock. We've not sealed the airlock, never mind about that. Into the final ship on the back here. So you can see we've got this little ship. This is the one with the larger sort of thrust pack at the back. A little bit faster as well as that mobile turret. Just a really nice design. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for looking at this ship with me today. It's a beautiful ship. There's going to be a link in the description, so check it out.